top five Las Vegas Valley retirement communities. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I have done numerous videos on all the retirement communities here in Las Vegas, but I thought I would go over the top five and how I based this was the largest, the top five largest retirement communities that are in the Las Vegas Valley. There are about a total of 20 plus retirement communities spread out throughout the entire Las Vegas Valley. North Las Vegas has three, Summerlin has four, Henderson has like seven, and then the rest of Las Vegas. Las Vegas is one of the top retirement destinations in the country. And I did a video, top five reasons why you need to retire here in Las Vegas. I mean, the number one is uh, no state income tax, and number two is lower property tax. From there, you can figure out the rest. But Las Vegas is an awesome place to retire. So I'm gonna go over the top five retirement communities in the Las Vegas Valley. I did this list in size order, meaning that I'm gonna go from the largest 55 plus community to the smallest 55 plus community. And can you guess what the number one largest 55 plus retirement community is here in Vegas? Sun City Summerlin. It's the first active adult community by Del Webb and it's on the west side of the valley in Summerlin, and it was developed between 1989 to 1999. Sun City Summerlin has four community centers, five pools, two of which are indoors, three golf courses, three restaurants, um, over 80 clubs, bocce ball courts, tennis courts, basketball courts, a miniature golf, you name it, the list can go on and on. HOA is roughly around $137 a month. However, if you do buy a townhome in Sun City Summerlin, you will have two HOA fees, one for the townhome community and one for Sun City Summerlin. So you could be paying anywhere up to a little over $300 for the townhome and Sun City. Uh, however, when you do live in a townhome in Sun City Summerlin, you are not responsible for maintaining the front or backyard, the stucco, the paint, or the tile roofs, which is pretty cool. And the cool thing is, is regardless of where you live in the community, you can have access to all the community centers, all the fitness facilities. Um, you don't have to pay anything extra besides your normal monthly HOA fee. And there are 7,779 homes in Sun City Summerlin. It is not a gated community and prices range from the mid 200s for a townhome up into the lower $1 million price range and they're all resale homes, nothing's new. Next is Sun City Anthem in Henderson and this was also developed by Del Webb in 1998 to 2008 and it is the second largest 55 plus retirement community here in the Las Vegas Valley. Sun City Anthem has three clubhouses, four pools, two of which are indoors, one golf course, tennis courts, bocce ball courts, pickleball courts, clubs, etc. They have it all just like Sun City Summerlin. HOA is only $101 a month for the single family residents. However, if there will be an additional HOA just like Sun City Summerlin when you live in a townhome. Home prices are in the low 300s to the low 1 millions and there are 7,144 single family homes in Sun City Anthem, all of which are resale. Number three is Sun City McDonald Ranch in Henderson as well. Another Del Webb community built from 1996 to 2001. They only have one clubhouse, a pool and spa, and one golf course. And they also probably have bocce ball courts, tennis courts as well, like all the other retirement communities. It's just a little more downsized compared to Sun City Anthem and Sun City Summerlin. Now all three of these are not gated communities either, just a FYI on that. And the HOA for this community is only $61 a month. Home prices are in the low 300s to the low 700s. There are 2,513 homes in McDonald Ranch, all of which are resale. Number four is Sun City Aliante in North Las Vegas. Also a Del Webb community built from 2003 to 2008. Sun City Aliante also only has one clubhouse. They only have an indoor pool. They do not have an outdoor pool, 
but they also do have a golf course and all the clubs that you can think of as well. HOA is only $112 a month and home prices are between the mid 200s to the mid to upper 400s. And there are 2,028 homes in Sun City uh, Aliante, all of which are resale homes. And last, the number five retirement community here in Las Vegas is Sun Colony Siena in Summerlin. Siena was developed by Sun Colony and not Del Webb between 2000 and 2006. This is a guard gated community. They also have one clubhouse, an indoor and outdoor pool with spa, a golf course, clubs, bocce ball, pickleball, tennis courts, you name it, they have it as well. This one's very resort feeling and it's the only one that's guard gated. HOA in this community is $240 a month. Home prices are in the mid 300s to the low 1 millions and there are 2001 homes in Siena, all of which are resale. Those are the top five 55 plus retirement communities here in the Las Vegas Valley. I've done numerous videos on all of these retirement communities. Just go to my YouTube channel to learn more. I specialize in Summerlin, so I know a lot more about Regency, Trilogy, Siena, and Sun City Summerlin. But if you'd like to learn more about any of them, obviously, I'm a real estate agent, I can help you out. You can always give me a call at 702-370-5112, or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and smash that subscribe button. Because I like to talk about Las Vegas, Las Vegas real estate, and of course, Las Vegas neighborhoods. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.